You're watching Good Day Columbus on Fox 28. So if you, if you were out in the wilderness, would you know how to survive? That's the question. So we come out in the woods today. Bigfoot! <laughs> behind the satellite dishes and yes. the parking lot. Did we fool you? <laughs> you knew we were in the wilderness, right? Tom, come on in here. Have you been stuck in the wilderness yourself? I've been stuck in the wilderness once or twice, Man. but never really lost. So is that why you learned to be a survival instructor? I, I learned because I was fascinated by people like Simon Kenton and Daniel Boone, how they could go out for weeks months with just their rifle and a few small supplies so back in the 80s I started to learn how to do it and wow. it, it just snowballed I started teaching people wow. and in 97 I started uh, Midwest Native Skills. Simon Kenton we should mention yes. for whom the the Boy Scouts are named yes. these days in, yes. in our neck of the woods yep. who was a, awesome. a, a famous explorer. He was in this area. So if we had to survive out here next to the parking lot what would we do? <laughs> well uh, one of the easiest things, people always want to know how to find direction. Right. And if you don't have a compass, you can use your watch. How does that work? Simply point the hour hand at the sun. Point the hour hand at the sun. Okay. Halfway between the hour hand and noon is south. Between the hour hand and noon is south. Is so well, if I put it on the right way, yeah. that would be helpful. Yes. Because right now I have it pointed the wrong way. So there's... You have to have the 12 on top. I have it on upside down. <laughs> we borrowed Pete's watch. When was the last time you wore a watch? I, it's been a little while. I uh -huh. don't even remember when. So, all right, let's try this again. All right, so the hour hand at goes the sun. at the sun. You have the back to the, your camera. There we go. <laughs> yes. All right. And then, and then halfway between the hour hand and noon is yeah, south. That's so, true. Right that way is what it says. That is really, really close. Actually, yep. that's spot on. Yep. Wow, wow, that's So that's cool. one trick. Okay, but, right. but besides direction, you're going to want to know how to survive. So the basics. Number one thing is shelter, number two is fire, number three is water, and number okay. four is food. Okay. Shelter, you're going to probably find a shelter. Okay. So let's we'll hide go, under the let's, bushes. Yeah, let's just jump right into fire. Okay. okay. Uh, people say, how do you find dry wood? Well, one trick is you can hold it up to your cheek. If oh. it feels cool, okay. it's wet. If it feels warm, it's dry. Huh. That's so now, this is kind of, kind of <laughs> wet then. This a little cool. bit wet. Okay. Now, you can also, if it's really wet, you can take the raincoat off. By the raincoat, I mean the bark. Now, you could use a knife like this, but I brought a, a piece of flint, oh. yes. any rock, and I'm gonna just, just scrape the bark off. Okay. Which is exactly what the folks who lived in this neck of the woods 10,000 years ago would have done. Oh. They had, And that worked just as good flint. Wow, with look the at knife. that. Yeah. All right. So any rock would do sharp any rock? Any sh rock with a sharp edge. Now, if, if we needed to start a fire with that, can we do that? Uh, well, what we would do is we would take these shavings, and that would be our tinder, oh. and then we'd have to get a little larger pieces of wood. But this is too big, and if it's wet on the outside, we need to split it. Okay. So I'll let you do that. It's a technique called batoning. You That's put funny. the stick down on a surface like this, okay. hold the knife there, take another stick, and just pound it in. Oh, so it's almost like you're hammering it, but you're using just another another piece of wood to do it. Wow. Right, and then get it. the edge. Yep. Look at that. All the way down. I don't want to. And then on the inside, that wood will be guaranteed to be dry. Because and you can do it again. Exposed. It hasn't been exposed to water. All right. Who knew okay. a guy who lived downtown Columbus could do such could, a thing? Neat. You're doing <laughs> right. good. You've got some water here. What's that for? Well, I was going to show you if we had this, we could just, if it's very wet, you could just take this. Oh, and it's still dry away. on the inside. It's still dry on the inside. Look at that. All right, so we need help. We need to find some help out there. We need to let somebody know that we're we're here. I have an idea. Okay. Can I borrow a cell phone? <laughs> well, how about starting the fire first? Oh, all right. Which uh, is a great way to let people know where you are. If you look here on my knife uh, sheath here, I have a few things. This is jute twine. Now, this we're going to use for tinder. Okay. Tinder is something you can start a fire with. And okay. here is my fire starter. So you've always got that handy. Yes. So is we like can take flint? this out. This is called a, a metal match. It's actually a piece of ferrocerium. It's man-made flint. And if you take, uh, this is a hacksaw blade. You take the blades here. Wow. Look at that. So if we take some of this jute, fuzz what it is, up. What is jute? Jute, exactly? it's uh, related to the hemp plant. Okay. okay. In the wild, you'd use cattail down. You'd use the inner bark of cedar trees. And I'll let you do oh, this. Just you. take just, this just sharp part okay. and, and put it on there. Get it real close. Okay. And so once you did that, you saw a little smoke happening there. And get, oh! look at that. Oh, nice and warm. And what's nice about this, this scraper I used, it's a, I mentioned the hacksaw blade. Yeah. You could use this to, to carve a trap, 
carved notches and things, so it's used for more than one thing. Wow, okay, all right. But to answer your question about signaling, a few ways we could do that. You could buy one of these high dollar mirrors to signal, but I have a better way. Do you have a mirror or compact, compact? or anything? We borrowed, like we a, borrowed compact. A, a compact, a makeup compact. Makeup compact works great. So we, we need, need to go out in the sun. Into the sun. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is a cheap alternative to that expensive wow. mirror. That All you do, if there was a plane going across the sky here, yes. you make your fingers like a gun sight, a V. Okay. okay. You put the plane right in the crotch here. Uh -huh. Okay. And you follow the plane across the sky, and you take your mirror, and you shine the flash. Right between your fingers. Right between your fingers, so oh, as wow. the plane goes by, you know you're flashing that plane. Oh, wow. Why don't you try it? That is amazing. That's pretty cool. Okay, there's an imaginary plane, and I am... And then as you follow it, you know the plane's the getting signal. Because you know you're pointing right at it. Yeah. You do Isn't classes. That, that yes, I do. Uh, we have survival classes. We have homesteading classes. Our next weekend class is uh, June 20th. It's a three-day weekend class. And then we have an edible medicinal plant class, July 12th. Oh, and then cool. a full-day week in August. So, yeah, we have a full range What's of classes. What's your website? Yeah. Survivalschool.com. Survivalschool.com. Fascinating. We're going to hook you up at myfox28columbus.com. So, so, nice so go there, and we'll get you all hooked up with Tom so that you can actually find out how to survive in the wild. Nice, Tom, thanks very hey, much. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it, thank you.